coming soon to a wine store near you, an Italian wine called Primitivo. Should you buy it, we'll let you know. I'm Sean Brecher. And I'm Dottie Gator. Together we write Tastings, the wine column for the Wall Street Journal. America's Zinfandel was a mystery grape for a long time. Where did it come from? It was America's own unique fine wine. It drove people crazy. Where did it come from? Finally, researchers discovered that it's actually the same grape as a grape in Italy called Primitivo. And both of them are related to an obscure grape in Croatia. But Italy said, hmm, gee, we've got a lot of this stuff planted. Maybe that's the ticket. We can start calling our Primitivo Zinfandel and start selling a lot of it. And the result is that you walk into lots and lots of American wine stores these days and there's Primitivo. We went out, we bought everyone we could find, and we were amazed at how many were out there. Um, and we tasted them through several nights, tasting them blind. Um, we had bad news. They were disappointing on the whole. You know, it, it, it's a shame that people in Italy who are making Primitivo and sending it to America now are using as their model bad American Zinfandel. This is a mistake, guys. Nuts, nuts. Don't do it. <laughs> you know, think about yeah. Italian reds, how charming they are, how earthy, how lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that they may also have some nice Zinfandel pepper stuff is a plus. Don't ruin it with oak. And don't make it simple. Don't make it sweet. And unfortunately, in too many cases, that's what they've done. So we have to tell you that for now, we'd avoid the Italian Primitivo aisle. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep tasting them, and maybe we'll come back with some better news sometime. But the good thing is that there are exceptions. And this is really important. The one we're drinking right now, only about $11. And uh, lovely. It's lovely. Very lovely, earthy, simple. The, in the best sense of the word. The things that you like about Italian reds. Yeah. Easy, 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 soulful, right. earth. And yet right some of that food. Zinfandel pepper. Right, that spice. I, at the very end, you kind of get that splash of pepper. Right. Plus, and this is really important, this was our best of tasting, which cost around $21. And this was another really fine wine, which was about 24 The problem is that on the whole, the best wines are really, really difficult to find on U.S. shelves. We buy all of our wines just like regular consumers, right off the shelf. That's where we got these, but they're really, really hard to find. And as a result, you're not going to go to your store probably and find a really good Primitivo. But what these show is it can be made into something special. And our advice is, hey, you guys making Primitivo in Italy? Taste this. <laughs> taste this. Send more like that over. If you have any questions or comments, we're always eager to hear from you. Our email address is wine at wsj.com. Cheers. Cheers.